Hello. Hi, Eric. Hello. Hi, Eric. Can you hear me? I'm sorry. Who yeah. are you looking for again? I'm sorry. I was looking for Eric. Eric, he's not here in the office right now. Do you want to leave a message? Uh, I can leave a message. Um, well, let me. I'm just to figure out. Maybe he's not the right person to speak with. Maybe it's you. I was hoping you can help me out. Point me in the direction. Um, who usually handles the like business conversations around sending you guys two, three more jobs a week? Is that you or Eric or someone else? Uh, that's me. You okay? And what was him again? Octavio. Octavio. Okay. Um, and um, I have a quick. Second. I can um, give you a 30 second description of what we do, and if you're interested, you know, we can set up another in the chat. All right, go ahead. All right, excellent, man. Thank you. So, we specialize in working with HVAC contractors, just getting them real calls directly from people who are actively looking for service or repair work. Um, what is your guys' focus right now? Is it one service or, you know, trying to up different, you know, um, maintenance agreements for the colder season coming up? Installations is our is what we do, what we try to do the most. Of course, I mean those are those are where the, the big money is. Um, but our clients love working with us because we break them out of the cycle of needing to pay for a single lead. I mean, most of the HVAC guys that we've you know spoken with in the past are forced to pay crazy prices for paper lead service or paper click, and you know most of the time they actually never even get in touch with those leads. Have you ever done something like that? Yes. Yeah, it's it's rough. Uh, so with PM now, my company, we lay down the foundation for you guys getting your phone ringing directly from someone who is actively searching for AC or heating work. You know, they call you directly. You have a chance to land that job right, right there without competing with five different businesses. Does that make sense? Yes. Awesome. So what I want to do is set up a time for you know, 20, 25 minutes whenever you can be in front of a computer, Octavio, and I'll show you how we get our clients these kinds of results and just like, bust up the biggest myth out there about the best way to generate profitable calls for your business. What time works best for you? Just a couple minutes later today or tomorrow morning? Uh, what's the name of, the, of you guys' company? It's called PM Now. That's my company. I'm I'm the owner of the company. Um, what what do you think would be best for you uh, later today, tomorrow morning, just you know, in front of the computer, so I can walk you through the program? Uh, let me see. Today around five. Can you do that? Five, absolutely. Five p.m. Central Time, and uh, just so I can be most prepared, and you'll be in front of the computer at that time, right, Octavia? You. Yes. Okay, excellent. Just so I could be most prepared for our call, because um, I will spend about 45 minutes just getting everything presentable and prepared, making something custom for you. I just want to ask you a couple more questions. Um, it'll just take a minute. Is that okay? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So I got him as, as Octavio. So, you know, uh, we know your calendars can change quickly before everything is you know going to go on. Do you have a, a best cell phone number for you or is this the, is this that cell number? This is the, the number we use. Okay, excellent. And um, what would you say your official title title is over at the company? Uh, I'm a technician. Okay. And um, when it comes to, you know, uh, you know, these kinds of decisions and making kind of marketing calls, is that something that you typically handle or is there anyone else you feel would need to be there to see this to know whether or not you think this would be a good fit for the company? No, it's just, just me. Okay, cool. Um, uh, so how long have you guys been in business? I've been in business since, what is it, 2011, so going nine years now. Okay, cool, man. Um, and then um, how many residential service calls would you guys say you do on average per week right now? Uh, should we do about, see, well, we're now slow, but we're doing, I'm going to say, what, like 20, 30 maybe? So let's go look at 20, 30 calls a week. And... Um, how many how many trucks would you say you have to handle that? I got two. 
You got two. Okay. And um, how many more could you handle on a weekly basis just without spreading yourself too thin? Another, I don't know, 20 more easily. 20 more easily. Okay, that's important because, you know, if you can't take that more, probably it's going to be important. And uh, how many installs would you guys say you do on a weekly basis? I know that's your focus. We do about one a day. Okay, cool. That's great. Um, and, you know, I guess what what marketing would you guys have right now to bring on new clients? Uh, we don't regularly use social media. Uh, that's what it, uh, what is it? Uh, like, you po like you post on social media, like Instagram or Facebook, just a, you, like you have a page. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, and then uh, what do you think would like set you guys apart from the next company out there? Like, why would somebody choose you guys instead of, you know, some other company out there? Uh, I'm always uh, teaching my guys, the, my guys the, the new stuff, the best way to do things. Um, what else? If there's something we don't understand, we learn it until we become pros at it. Um, go ahead. All right, go ahead. I was going to say, it sounds like you guys are you guys keep up with all the technology, and you're you know if you don't know the answer to something, you don't just kind of ignore it. You're you're interested in really making sure that you could both answer all the questions for the uh, for the customer, but also make sure that you guys feel like you're experts, and it's important mm -hmm. for your technicians to always be on top of the game. Is that it? Yes. Oh, that's that's good. I mean, not everyone says that. Um, you know, is there anything else that you um, that you you know want me to make sure that I can cover for during our meeting around any kind of marketing stuff for you guys? Um, no, no. Okay, excellent. Because I I mean, because one of the things that um, we're gonna do is I'll take a look at you know your site and you know what you guys. And we've got going on there and what you know what the opportunity is and how we can help you um, so we're all set to talk uh, today at just to make that clear at 5 p.m. and I'm going to send you just a, an email invite in your calendar um, can you make sure to accept that invite once I send it over to you or make sure you got it? it's going to be a zoom meeting in front of your computer uh, you'll be back in front of your computer then yes yes Okay, excellent. And it, you're you're gonna love this. I, I promise you. Um, and then, um, I mean, if there's anything else that you want to know, I mean, I'm I'm ask away. But is is it something you know, like getting more calls from people who are actively going online looking for AC repair in your area? Is that something you guys have kind of been thinking about or thought about lately, or you know, in Elgin? Pretty much everybody that calls me, like you call me, I usually turn them away because uh, it's always the same thing. We I already tried many things, like being on, on the front page of Google and Yahoo. That doesn't work for us, or at least for the heating and air uh, services around the area. We tried it for a year. If maybe we got one mm -hmm. or two calls, uh, I did not get my money back uh, on those two calls. For the whole year that I was paying for the service, um, let's see what else. I tried for an Angie's List. I tried uh, what is it? Uh, there's another one similar to Angie's List. I tried that one too, um, and none of that okay. worked for me. They they put us uh, to compete with other companies around the area that are uh, Home know, Advisor. Home advisor, yeah, that's the one they tried. That's the one. That's the one. Okay. So when I when we talk later today, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of like walk you through um, some of the different kind of options that there are out there and what what we can do that's different. Um, I'm gonna I can pretty much tell you why the last thing you did uh, did not work. I mean that I. I, and I understand that you get a lot of different calls for stuff, but I can promise you that this is my company and we do an amazing job. I can promise you that it's going to be worth your time. And at the minimum, you are going to have 
said, wow, I'm really glad I took that call. I've learned a lot about what's possible for me. So I'm, I'm, I'm making a big promise about this call, okay? All right. All right. I appreciate you sitting down with me, Octavia. I, I promise it's going to be great. I will talk to you at 5 p.m. today. And uh, have you ever used Zoom before? I have. Uh, my kids use it now on their on their on their tab on their computers that the school gave them, but I don't have a camera on the on my computer. Oh, that's not is a problem, that a problem, man. Or no? Oh, not at all. I'm I'm going to be sharing my screen with you. That key thing is that I can share my screen with you. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you'll see. Okay, excellent, man. Like I said, I'm really excited about um, sitting with you, and I am going to uh, uh, I'm going to put some of this stuff together and start working on our call. So I will talk to you at 5 p.m. Central today and send you a, a reminder here. Okay, excellent, man. All right, I will talk to you then. All right, sounds good, man. Thank you. Sure.